What is up guys? It is Britannian here and I'm gonna bring you guys how to spawn trap on standoff. I am playing with my friend Zach and his little gang. Um I will admit that I was playing with a couple of my new friends, uh Jemez and you got Blaze. Yes, this is me using the M twenty seven. I have Overkiller and I'm using the Chicago or Chicago, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, as my secondary and I'm running UAV orb escort drone guys and we are playing demolition we I believe I use flight jacket scavenger and dexterity you will barely see me get scavenger packs in this guys I don't know why I run scavenger I just like it I don't know why but as you guys can see I'm trying to make it to the other spawn what we want to do as a thing of spawn trapping is to lock them in a the spawn as you guys see we all have certain points my point is up top there and I I think this is the best one ever, out of all of them on this side is because look this guy's a wannabe trick shot and you'll see him kill me a lot the first round's a long round but the second round's short because we had a random who did it but look you pick them off right when they spawn you see that side that I just looked at for a brief moment just a brief not a right there yeah they will spawn over there eventually if you push that spawn and that's why we have a guy who watched the tractor I will die here because they broke out of the spawn but you'll see us lock it down the game before this when we actually had standoff we actually spawn trapped him. It was not a bad game, guys. It was, I believe I was seven, I was like 70 plus, and out of seven deaths, eight deaths, I think. Here, I think I go eight deaths, and I have 44, 50. Good game, I mean, if we didn't have this random on our team, we probably would have went 100 plus easy, because of the round two, how I was, I had my favorite spot there. But look, as you guys see, right back here, so I die. I can just watch right down that long hallway pick them off right when you spawn and the tractor I know I have back up there because my friend Zach or whoever you want to play is, is watching that all around you want to lock it down so basically it's like a circle you let them go but this is the main point and it's the hardest point you have to let them at 30 seconds get out and plant the bomb then you start killing them and let that bomb blow then you kill for the rest of the time period I always like planning of doing this first where I'm not planning because I like to how can you say, um, I pretty much like to dominate the second half because the second half you can go into overtime, alright? And if you are got a good team, you don't care. You can spawn trap this game like nothing. Overtime basically is just overkills. It's just, how can you say, um, you just spawn trap them. Like, as you see, I'm watching, making sure, because we're not all in our spawn trap yet. See, Zach got in his, I got in mine. Take him out. And the reason why I run UAV, Orb, and Escort is because if you get the high kill streaks, they're going to back out so you can't get, you know, the high games. So you run that UAV, your team knows where they're at, you get points, you get the Orb, do the same thing to the Escort drone. The Escort drone, they usually don't back out because they can shoot it down, usually, but if you're spawn trapping them, they can't. But as you can see, boom, back up, M27, got my back. It's, he's going to come back to get me, and I take him out. That's the best part. You just run it. And when y'all are like cycling it out, those kill streaks, it, how can I put this nicely? You will not ever, you should never have a moment where you don't have an orbital V set up. Like, if you see the escort drone and all that, we let them blow that up. We just move right back into the spawn trap, and that guy is extremely lucky how he got that. I do not know how he did not die, but they don't want to watch it. But as you guys could say, you can take them out in a circular position. Kind of sound repetitive, but it's kind of a little circle. Because you don't want them, you know, to get out and escape. And I'm just going after these guys because I want them out so my escort drones can kill them. We can get them back in that spawn trap. But yes, if you see, I die a lot. I probably die like 8, 9 deaths. I never went over 10 deaths in this game when we were playing. And I have one on carrier where it's kind of sad. I almost had a nuclear, but the time ran out. Uh, we made the host, I think, migrate twice out of this game, guys. So if you guys can see, it's just like... They will leave. They will. Trust me, but... We we got a kid that we went he went five and forty and sixty and like they stayed they got wrecked if you guys can see the M27 I think they upgraded it so it's the best gun for me I recommend using Overkiller when you're in a spawn trap with on this map because you want a submachine gun and an assault rifle the only reason why you want the assault rifle is to take them out like how I'm doing is just you just you just take them out the submachine guns when you run out of the assault rifle you can just go to that and go okay boom 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 take them out reload get it and go. But, as you guys can see, the first round is the longest round in this game, and all it is is just you getting into the point, like, he took my spot, 
Well, as you can see, I'm gonna go back up there because it's my spot. I don't like it in my spot. And just watch the friendly death machine spinning get up. Get the kills. You won't have to worry about it. It's in, out, clean, nice. Pick up your streak. I believe. I don't know. I think one of them was running swarm, and this guy failed. And we, as you guys can see, look, camping in this house. Took him out. We got the guy at the tractor, and easy. In out clean spawn trap, and if you have the right team, I recommend running a really good team on this guys. You guys can keep up. How can you like? You guys can basically win every game, and basically go off. Each of you guys should go off with at least 70 plus kills. If you get a right spawn trap and you get it right since the beginning, you'll go off 70 no problem. See as you see, always look at your mini map guys, because that's one tip that a lot of COD players do not do. And if you see that we're running around looking at our map, we know what to do. And as you say, if if we don't have an orb, that UAV it's out. It's telling them, hey, look, they're there. Get them. They're not using ghosts. Well, they're using ghosts, and you're screwed. But you got that spawn trap. You know where they're gonna spawn, so it doesn't matter. And yeah, you gotta watch out because they'll go in the house and they'll camp. That's that's what got us a lot of times because they camped in that stupid house. But as you guys see, the game's coming to an end on the first round. You'll see the second round is very quick, short to the point because the guy on our team he planted both bombs and we had him in a spawn trap. And you'll see, I was doing really good, but it did not matter with that teammate. And the next round, this is the most one for the planning. This is the best one to get the most kills. No matter what, you saw me pick off a lot of kills there. It was impressive, but watch how. I'll pick off a couple of kills on this map, on this side, and you'll see it. That was weird, but the host left. We were lagging really bad. It was kind of terrible, but as you guys see, we made the host left twice. Now, I think Zach got host or someone else got host, but look how I run. Okay, that building that's coming up right there, you see it? That's the one that we want, that building that I'm looking at right now. And look where I'm going to camp at. Usually, you have to have two people down there helping you, guarding you, because they will go over there. But you just pick them off. See? Because, listen, look at all that coverage you have. Then you have people downstairs, you have that orbital, you know where they're at. They come in that side, you just pre fire and watch. But, see? Just pick them off. They're already coming up here for me. They go down. And that's all you do. You just rush there, get to that side. And look, they're going to want to come in after me, like you'll see. This guy, he comes after me like five times. And all he does is just die. And now I have an orb. Pick him off. Escort drone, call that out. And if you see, the guy planted both times, so basically the game's going to end fast. But Because we're not going to let him out of the spawn trap. We tried to, but it didn't work. But that's all you guys have to do, really, for the spawn trap on standoff, is get a good team, good guns, good teammates like that's the main one good teammates and the great map and that's all you will need and that's the game's coming to an end guys peace out like love and comment bye